Hello, my name is Laura and welcome to the installation tutorial for installing your USA Tough graphic kit on your Cordova cooler. By the end of this video, you'll know how to perfectly install your new kit. First, I'd like to tell you about some of the tools you'll need for your installation. You will need lacquer thinner that's going to help you with prepping the cooler before you install your kit. Make sure to have clean, lint-free cloths for applying the lacquer thinner. You will need a bottle that you'll put some water and a couple drops of soap in. You'll need a squeegee. And you'll need a hair dryer that will help you to set in the kit. And lastly, make sure to have some patience and a little elbow grease. Once you're done, you're going to love your new kit. Okay, now it's time to get started. Now take your time with this install. It may take up to an hour, maybe even a little bit more. Spend the time you need to do it right. The first step is going to be prepping the cooler. This is the most important part. You must ensure that your cooler is clean before you start the installation of your kit. This is extremely important, especially with the new coolers, as there may be some oil left behind from the manufacturing process. As you can see here in this video, I'm being very generous with the lacquer thinner, and I'm really spending some time cleaning this cooler. Okay, now the next step is to unpack your kit. So pull your pieces of the kit out of the box, lay them flat, and then we recommend putting a board or something flat over them to help them settle. After some time, and once the pieces are flat, then you can remove the board. Before you start installing, it's really important to test fit. Pull all the pieces out and make sure you know where they go before you start installing any of your pieces. You can watch some examples here. Hi, it's me again. Remember how I talked about how important prepping the cooler is? Well, it's really important. You're going to see Gary here doing one final wipe down before he installs each of the pieces. This is just to ensure that any residue is removed from the cooler. If you have not already done so, please fill your spray bottle with some water and just a couple drops of soap as we are showing you here. This will help you for prepping your cooler before you install the pieces. For the Cordova cooler, we recommend that you start with the lid. You'll see high ridges on the lid of this cooler and it's important to make sure the lid piece is installed 
carefully and all the water is removed before proceeding on to your other pieces. You'll see this repeated several times during this tutorial. The first step for installing a piece is to lightly mist the area of the cooler where you will be applying the piece. Again, lightly misting it. Make sure not to have too much water. Then you will remove the backing from the piece and you will also mist the back of the graphic. This is going to help you to move the piece around and is really helpful on the larger pieces. Okay, now it's time to squeegee. You're gonna see this a lot through the tutorial. Really spend time, five minutes maybe on a piece sometimes, to make sure that you're getting all of the water out. We've taken some time to show you different areas where the water may seep out from the kit. This is again why squeegeeing is so important. Hi, I'm back again for a little trick. So, there are four pieces of your kit that you will always install dry. These are the textured areas that look like the little mountain scenes on the front, back, and two sides of your Cordova cooler. Because it's textured, it's a little bit harder for the graphic to stick. We found that doing a dry install will make it easier for you. Because you are installing this dry, you will need to spend a little extra time with heat to really press the kit in. Heat warms the kit and actually softens it. You need to be very, very careful when applying heat to this kit as you don't want to overheat it, but it is your friend when it comes to the installation process and helping the adhesive stick to the cooler. Okay, I wanna jump in here because you may find that as you're installing this cooler, some of the pieces don't stick right away. Don't worry, it's going to take time and sometimes even setting overnight is what's needed. But as you're installing the cooler kit, watch for areas that have not set. These may need extra squeegee time and it might need some extra heat applied. Here you can see where the kit's lifting and you see how once we apply a little bit more heat, it actually lays back down.
Now, while we highly recommend a wet install, it's very important for people that are new to installing graphics, there are some pieces that you can install dry. Of course, the textured areas that we talked about, and small pieces. Here's an example of Gary in doing a dry install on a small piece of the front of the cooler. Using a hairdryer during the installation process will help quite a bit. There are times when it may be hard to squeegee out all of the water and sometimes the heat will help to evaporate it. Also, if there's any areas of the kit that are lifting, remember that heat, gentle heat, will help to warm and soften the kit so that it will lay down for you. Great job guys, you're almost there. We're installing the final pieces that wrap around the top of the cooler lid. These are, can be done dry also because they're smaller pieces.
Yeah, you did it, your kit's installed. Now, you're not done yet. Before you leave the table, you wanna make sure you do a once over of the entire cooler. Really look for any air bubbles, water that's remaining, or any part of the kit that's not sticking. Just take your time with it. Then, after you've done this, let it set overnight. You'll probably wanna do it again the next day. Sometimes we, we let our kits set 24 to 48 hours just to ensure they're completely set before we use them. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please do not hesitate to ask if you have any questions. Feel free to send us an email or give us a call and we will be happy to help. We really hope you enjoy your new kit.